Okay, to conclude what we've covered over the last couple of videos, uh, we have blown out an egg, we have decorated it in the traditional Pisanki batik fashion, and uh, now we're just going to cover how best to preserve this pattern. Um, let's be honest, it's an eggshell. I don't think there are that many, many, um, <laughs> many heirloom pisanki left in the world because I don't know when the egg crate was invented. It was probably around the industrial revolution, so you know, people could try to preserve ones their grandparents made as best they could, but they probably shattered. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, possessions are fleeting. Anyway, so we can we can try to preserve this. We can prevent it from fading in, in sunlight or from from atmosphere effects, and make it just a little bit a little bit stronger than it currently is by coating it in polyurethane-based varnish, uh, specifically oil-based polyurethane varnish. I didn't know some apparently is water-based. Don't use that stuff because that will just make the dye totally run. I'm glad I tested that before I actually used it. So the one I use here, yeah, it's a satin finish. That's preferred. I mean, you, know, you can do gloss, but that'll make it really shiny and hard to photograph. So satin-based, satin finish, oil-based polyurethane varnish. And we can return to the concept of the egg stand, or egg Golgotha, if we want to stick with the Easter tradition. And pop the egg onto a bamboo skewer. Um, oh yeah, if you want to be safe and not get the stuff on your hands, you really don't want to get the stuff on your hands, because it's, it's sticky and unpleasant. And you can't wash it off, you just have to wait till it wears off. So, yeah, so if it does get on your skin, uh, you just you just like wipe the affected area with um, with hand sanitizer and then rub the area with uh, almond oil or or lotion, something to counteract the stickiness, and then just wait a day and it should be gone. But yeah, you don't want it on your skin, so best to use protection. Alright, so we've got our glove, we've got our varnish, and we've got our egg on a stick. We also have a handy little, a handy little uh, plastic box, which makes this a little bit easier. Take the egg pop stand. And if you don't remember how to do this, this is just a little a little cardboard box with a bunch of skewers stuck into it. Um, really stuck in because there's a lot of layers of dried varnish here. Uh, and you can also use a block of polystyrene, whatever, so long as you've got a bunch of little sticks for the eggs to sit upon. So we've got this varnish here. This is about how much you need if you don't, you know, use varnish for if you don't have a deck to cover, just buy a little bit of this, and this will this will do you for a good long period of time. If the if the varnish is full enough, you can just sort of dip the egg in here and like swirl it around and coat it. Since there's just a little bit left in here, I'm just going to position it over a little plastic safety bin and pour the remnant of varnish over like so. Put it evenly, go like a candied apple. That smells nice and wooden. Mm -hmm. You can see this varnish is it's kind of been exposed to the air because it's going on quite yellow. You want a nice clear varnish ideally. Unless you want the more you know antique look to your eggs. There we go. Coated in varnish. And then we just take it over to the egg stand, pop into the little holes previously pierced, and just let it sit and dry for at least six hours, um, ideally overnight. Um, you want the ambient temperature of the room to be at least 20 Celsius, because otherwise it tends to dry kind of tacky or take forever to dry cure.
Once you've got a nice dry egg to work with, then you'll want to seal up the hole in the bottom. A little bit of tacky glue, easily bought at any craft store. And the place where you've gotten all your Pisanki related supplies from should also furnish you with these these little hoop findings. They're just, just a little flat bit with a hoop on top. It helps you turn these into nice little ornaments. Just press it on there for a little bit. And just put in an egg crate. Let it sit and dry overnight is best. And once that's set, you can run a little bit of thread through the hoop and hang it as an ornament. <clears throat> or you can get one of these little three-legged stands. Also can be found at any Pisanki supply store. And just sit it on your desk or your mantelpiece. And that's pretty much everything. I hope you've enjoyed watching and that you've learned something. And I encourage you to try this yourself and tell me how it went for you. Bye!